you go boys matt g tutorial here um i'm just gonna show you some general stuff about how to fix your well potentially fix your stuttering with cs um there's a few of you that have requested this so i thought it'd probably be easier just to do a quick video and just go through some stuff that you can do yourself rather than having to like you know team viewer onto each individual computer it's a lot easier to do this um my desktop looks very blank i i do have a hidden taskbar so i do have stuff open um right so first things first like with, with stuttering it's it's not something that you can just like immediately pinpoint it's it's quite a difficult symptom to diagnose on a pc um so that this is just what i do to see if i can fix it for myself so first things i do would be right click my start menu go to device manager i would well, i'm just going to expand this list um i would go through the audio and input devices at the top i would also go through the display adapters um potentially the keyboard mice and other pointing devices these aren't really necessary necessary uh the monitors not really um the network adapters definitely so i'll show you what i mean so for here mine's different because i've got a uh, go xlr um well unless you've got one so you'll probably see like real tech audio drivers here so you just want to right click them go to properties driver update driver and then search automatically for the updated driver software um do this for every single audio driver that you've got under the audio inputs and outputs just go through each individual one and make sure they're all up to date um do the same also for display adapters you'll probably only have one in there that'll be your graphics cards um you might have an intel one as well but i doubt it um i would also go to network adapters um the ones you want to do are anything relating to bluetooth or intel ethernet or wireless don't worry about these ones just do these ones so again boom, boom, wrong one that one so yeah just just go make make sure each individual driver is up to date um the, the two that are the main sort of causes of uh of issues will be the under the network adapters and the audio ones so just make sure your audio drivers and your ethernet and wireless ones are up to date and so that they'll be the first first two things i'd do um second thing to make sure that you want to check is go to windows updates so i've got one at the moment that you can see but i would no matter what you've got here keep pressing download keep pressing install if it asks you to reboot reboot go through everything you can including the feature updates the large ones themselves and do everything basically until you then come back go to the same menu if you refresh it and there's no more updates to do you're done so just make sure everything's done uh other thing i'd do i would check to make sure that my graphics drivers are up to date so if you've got amd there, there's amd software for this as well um but i you know obviously most of you will probably have nvidia uh graphics cards so go open geforce experience go to drivers um you can see i've got one here as well um if you haven't got one displaying there do a check for updates excuse me i'm a bit burpy today um yeah so check for updates if you've got a driver available download and update the driver for sure um it's I don't know. I wouldn't say it's essential to keep your driver up to date, but I mean, I typically update my graphics drivers like once every, I don't know, like three ish months, unless there's like a really critical update for a game that I want to play. Um, so, for example, if I was going to play Half Life Alex, what's it called? Alex? Alex? I can't even, I didn't see what that was. The new Half Life Alex, Alex, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. For, for example, if I wanted to play that game, I'd update the driver for it because, you know, this is a driver specific. Um, yeah so i would do that next um the other thing to do is stuttering wise it can sometimes be software related um so i would go through your program list on your control panel and see if there's anything in there that you can basically get rid of so if you've got old games that you don't want to play or if you've got software that you don't use or you've got software that you don't know what the fuck it is just literally uninstall it um so for example if i was to go through this myself i'd say like i don't play age of empires anymore I don't need that because that's my overclocking software for my machine which i no longer use i don't use audacity there's some sh like i'd leave all the microsoft ones obviously um i don't stream anymore so i'd uninstall obs kappa <laughs> um yeah just just go through the program list and see if there's anything you can get rid of like anything will help and it might be a piece of software that's on here that might be sort of causing um causing stuttering so that's what i do next um for cs as well um I would go to uh, your CSGO, go to properties, go to launch options, make sure, oh fucking hell, make sure that you have nothing in here except this or nothing else. You don't want any sort of like random console commands, like, you know, Mac Q mode or whatever those other ones used to be, because you don't need that these days. Like if you've got commands in there that like 
you know claim to boost your fps or any of that shit it's been confirmed confirmed by a developer a uh, valve that actually causes more damage than good um so yeah just ma- just make sure that you the only launch options you kind of kind of want are you know your resolution no vid obviously just removes the video at the beginning when launching cs no joy is needed for face it so it disables joystick and then my tick rate which you don't really need but you know is what it is um i would also if this was me i would go to my desktop go to nvidia control panel so right click nvidia control panel it might have actually reverted so i might need to do this myself because there was a cs update uh you go to manage 3d settings on the left oh i forgot to say by the way if you've got amd that this won't apply to you because this is just nvidia uh, but yeah go to, go to manage 3d settings go to program settings find csgo mine's already there because i've done this before um on this list you want to scroll down and find shader cache first one use global setting change that to off power management mode right here this will probably be set to optimal power change that to prefer maximum performance apply that give it a second because it will freeze there you go done um just make sure that you set those in the control panel technically speaking you don't need to worry about the shader cache um it's kind of like i don't know i've always just had it off and to be honest i'm used to it but I, I, even if i was to turn that on now or off in cs it, it makes no difference like i don't notice anything it just like it helps my fps that's all um power management mode again this used to do stuff i don't know if it's still the case i know that it gave me a pretty large fps boost when i sort of looked this up ages ago um i've just always set it back to that if it ever changes um so yeah um window settings go to all settings go to where was it system focus assist and if you um yeah just make sure that this is set to off at the top um and then these settings here i'm not going to do it because i don't have any stuttering issues at the moment um so if you just basically well, actually that's a lie i mean since the last update i, I kind of had stutters, but whatever um <laughs> just make sure these at the bottom are turned off as well so you just basically turn all these off um you can untick that as well it doesn't really matter too much um there was another setting in here as well which i was trying to find but i can't bloody remember what it was um there was a setting i used to change for alt tabbing and i yeah i can't remember where it was but anyway yeah just just make sure you've done that as well um other things to, or key things to, to look out for is check and see um if you've got any antivirus um you know excluding the normal windows defender if you've got something like i've got like bit defender or you've got malware bytes or anything like that just make sure well as a test i would just literally uninstall the software and just have windows defender and see if that makes any difference um because i know some avs tend to have um com- conflicting issues with it um other things to look out for is uh c cleaner um i know that c cleaner has in the past i don't know if this is still the case um but it used to um give people vac authentication errors and it used to cause horrendous performance issues um so if you've got c cleaner on your machine i would highly recommend getting rid of it um I, again i could be very wrong it might have changed in the last sort of year and a half two years since i've sort of looked at it but it used to be fucking awful um apart from that i if you've got stuttering issues with a specific piece of hardware like a mouse like a logitech mouse or something logitech being the the sort of the most common um make sure in your control panel under here that you don't have the logitech g gaming software or i think it might just be called logitech gaming software um because i've had issues with my g pro wireless which i'm using at the moment um where when i had that installed it would be fucking horrific like almost to the point it was unplayable um it caused huge stuttering issues it would make my mouse just like like if, if i was let me show you on my desktop if i would drag my mouse from the left to the right like this like halfway through it would just skip frames and it would just go like boop, 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 like that so you know not not with that sound effect but you know what i'm saying <laughs> so um yeah just make sure you uninstall that software if you've got it installed um other things you could do um which if all of that fails and doesn't work i would a uninstall cs and reinstall it if you've already done that i would check to see if you've got any bios updates for your motherboards um so depending what motherboard you've got if i type in like um i can't remember what i've got asus Uh, let let me just give you an example oh you can't see my screen if i typed in asus rog motherboard um z370 drivers so let's just say this is my motherboard which it isn't um you can go to the asus rog website and go to where am i looking oh already on it so uh, under driver and tools select your operating system so windows 10 and then bios here so there's a bios update for this motherboard that was released on the uh seventh of well the 18th of the seventh but the american format uh 2019 so download that and do your bios update uh it's usually just a case of putting that file on like a, a usb stick 
uh, plugging it into your into your PC, restarting your PC into the BIOS, and then just doing a doing a flash on it. It, it. It's fairly sort of easy to do, but if you need help with it, I can lend my assistance if you want it. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. There was one other thing I was going to go through, which I would do, um, but I cannot remember it. Okay, do all that first. If all else fails, um, feel free to hit me up on Steam or Discord or whatever. Um, but I mean, if this was me and it was, you know, it's, it's continually being causing issues for me, then I would get to the point where it pisses me off so much that I would just format my PC. <laughs> um, that's just me, though. I know some of you either don't want to format or don't know how, so like, I, I get that. Um, oh, that was actually that was the other thing I was going to mention. If your CS is installed on a uh, a hard disk rather than rather than an SSD, um, I would uninstall it from your hard disk or your your SATA drive, and I would install it onto your um on your SSD um because those old 7200 rpm fucking spinning discs are awful um if you don't have any ssds well it's 2020 you don't have an excuse fucking buy one uh but yeah that's pretty much it if it's already installed on an ssd well rip you i would in my position i would just format my pc and start again and see if it makes a difference because if it doesn't then <laughs> it sounds hardware re hardware related so <laughs> um yeah anyway hit me up on steam or discord or wherever if you if you need some help but i just thought it'd be easier just to make this video and show you Thanks, guys. Peace.